ESPN coverage of the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. We are the exclusive home for the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series and proud to be our uh, being associated with NASCAR in this wonderful division. First of 23 events. And just a moment ago, an incident on pit road here. Watch Rick Corelli coming in. There's the 07 trying to leave. That's Jason Small, and whoops! There goes the right rear, uh, part of the right rear quarter panel. Quite a bit of damage to the right rear quarter panel of Rick Corelli's truck. He, he, we saw him on pit road a few laps ago, and uh, he must have been, undoubtedly, he must have sped on pit road or had too many guys over the wall because they brought him in for a stop and go penalty. That's why he was on pit road. And Corelli now being shown back in 24th position, but uh, has run up in the top five or six most of the afternoon. 46 years of age out of Denver, Colorado. Look at the damage to the right rear. Look how that, like a parachute sticking out there. Donnie Neuenberger in the IHOP um, machine right behind him having a pretty good run. International House of Pancakes coming on full time as sponsor for him for the 2002 season. There come the leaders across. Robert Presley, Travis Quapple, Bill Lester, has only driven six NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series races in his entire life, and he is running third at Daytona as the laps are clicking down. What a great job he's done. Very impressive last year in the little tryout he had with Bobby Hamilton. Uh, obviously, he's showing right now that uh, he deserved this opportunity, and here, and what a great job he's doing. As finish uh, came in Phoenix last year when he finished 18th, and talking about the eight truck there for Bill Lester, 41 years of age out of Oakland, California. The Dodge diversity program really taken off. Here is the Mopar Dodge in the pits, right? Ted just came on the radio, Jerry, and said he wanted to take one more pound out of the right front and go up just a little bit on the track bar. They've been taking that track bar down all day today to try to make the truck more stable. So some minor chassis adjustments here on what very well may be their last pit stop. And guys, we are being told, Ray and Amy told us a moment ago during the caution break that, uh, during the commercial break that, most of these guys think they can make it 33 laps on fuel, so we expect this final pit stop, these splash and goes to be coming any time, particularly if we get a yellow flag. That's exactly right. Uh, Ted Musgrave undoubtedly started out with a loose truck, and the changes they made that Ray talked about right there will actually went the other way, so undoubtedly watching the going to get a little help there, a little, little drafting help get up to speed, but here's Carlos Contreras. Ray? Bill, they've been fighting a tight condition most of the day today. Carlos saying to try to make a little air pressure adjustment. Four tire change for this group. The Hot Wheels guys there all making that happen. Fairly smooth. He came in running in eighth place. So an outstanding today, today for Carlos Contreras, who had his very best qualifying effort to get into this race today, started sixth. And he told me, Carlos, by the way, is from Mexico City, Mexico. And that was headlines in papers all over Mexico was his sixth place qualifying effort. And they are going to be watching what happens to the Hot Wheels Dodge today. Or he then gone, also in right, right in front of you. Still a little bit of damage there on that right front, Jerry. They did right side tires over here, and you can see they're making a wedge adjustment. Got to make sure you've got a fuel of fuel here. This is very critical because they can go the distance right now, or maybe be within a lap or so. So the 62 has its fuel, and coming in this time, we expect Travis Quapple to come down pit road. So they're making sure that Brendan Gons guys get out of the way so they can do this very critical last pit stop for the 60. Brendan gone moving away in the Napa Dodge. Here comes Quapple in the Cat Rental Chevy. Behind there is the 18 of Robert Presley. They slow down to 55 miles an hour. What should be the final scheduled pit stop of the day? This could be critical. Let's go to Amy and Robert Presley's pit. And very rarely do you think of Daytona as being a fuel mileage race with the truck, that is. But indeed, it could be right here. Robert Presley taking right side tires. They've got some Winston Cup guys on the front. Nice good stop for all four. Great Dunlap. Amy, it looks like it's going to be right side tires only for Travis Popple this time, and it's a good thing because he got that truck very close to the wall. But this was a plan, two tire stop strategy in action for the 60 team. And here they come back out. Popple coming down. There is Terry Cook in. Amy? All winter long, this team practiced their four tire stops, and this is the first one of the 2002 season. Not the fastest, but they're all on tight, and Cook's ready to go to the end. And a lot of teams went over and picked a Bush crew or a Winston Cup crew to come pit their, their trucks. And uh, not Terry Cook said, these guys work too hard. I'm not going to take it away from them. They're going to pit my truck. And if we win, we're going to win together as our team. Here's the five of Lance Hooper, former Winston West Series champion. Lance was having a great one today. Out of Palmdale, California, driving for Rick Ware. Lance, the 34-year-old driver, uh, making his 32nd NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series start. Finished 10th at Nazareth last year.
I'll tell you, Lance was pushing that line off a of close right there. They uh, they did a good job getting that. He did a good job getting that thing stopped. About two or three more inches, he was fixing to get a little penalty. And there's Robert Presley, Jason Leffler and company now back on the racetrack as these pit stops were cycled. Less than 30 laps to go here at Daytona. There's Terry Cook right there, Doc, on the outside. We saw Robert Presley go by a few moments ago. There's Terry Cook. They both came in at the same time. Both took four tires. But you see how much distance Robert Presley has now on Terry Cook. That's the difference between having a Winston Cup pit crew that's used to doing this in about 15 seconds and having a pit crew that's going to do it in 22 seconds. But they're going to get better and better. This, remember, this is the first time that they've ever changed four tires in competition on a regular basis. They did it last year as, as a one-off at Darlington because they were concerned a little bit about tire wear and the track too tough to tame. A little tough on tires. There are the leaders. Right there is Travis Quapple, reigning Ray Bestus Rookie of the Year here for the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. Takes the lead, and the Truck Series fans love it. Back with the final 29 in a moment. And today's aerial shots uh, for overlooking Daytona International Speedway, courtesy of the fine folks at Goodyear. The uh, blimp stars and stripes at the controls is Captain Dan Thomas. Bob McGlowan uh, working the camera. Thanks, Dan and Bob, for giving us these great shots. Goodyear, the official tire supplier to the NASCAR Winston Cup Series and the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. We are under caution for the fourth time today. Here come our leaders back on pit road. Presley's in. Amy? Remember what I told you about fuel mileage? Well, you got to get it all in, and they feel as though they did. So a quick flash and go for the 18. Ray Dunlap. Well, Amy, it was a real good gamble to only do right side for Travis Quapple. That got him the lead, but now you can't stay out there with that. So they decided to come in, get their left side tires. Carlos Contreras also in here with a splice of fuel. And the two truck comes down. Jason Leffler been running very, very tight in that last segment. So they want to make a big chassis adjustment. We'll give you an update, Amy. Well, Brian Rose, Robert Presley's teammate, also down pit lane. Four tires, and they're having some trouble on the left rear. They now get it on, and two cans of fuel. Rose is down and away. Well, thank you, guys. Uh, as you, if you just joined our coverage, four tires is the rule this year. You're allowed to change all four, so that could totally alter some late race strategy. We'll come back and show you why we're under caution and what happened a moment ago at Daytona in just a moment. 